sometimes things happen that are just strange. Um, and a long time ago, I had this thing every Saturday, I'd go with the kids to the library. So you'd have these kids seats, one in front, one at the back of the bike, and we'd go to the library. And the route then took us through this park, a very nice park, it was pleasant. Sometimes they'd go and play there and, um, you know, have adventures, kid adventures. And so we're just cycling and, you know, you see a couple of people pass on the cycle path. And then suddenly on the right, I first notice two shopping bags just put there and then Almost in the same instance, I see a bicycle, and then next to the bicycle, I see a woman lying just in the grass. And she looks like this is a very uh, ordinary kind of person shopping on Saturday, uh, bags filled, but it's just bags are placed very neatly. The bicycle is there, ladies in the grass. And we stop, and I look, and it's I'd seen this before in uni, a friend or a, or a, a study mate, he had epilepsy and I'd seen an epileptic fit before and it, it really had spooked me the first time and this time I saw the woman was having an epileptic fit and I had no idea what to do and so of course you call uh, the emergency services and then they talk you through this and that and that and the fit, it just, it lasted I don't know how many minutes, but eventually she came back to the here and now, and we walked with her, she put her stuff on the bike and we walked with her to her house, which was not so far away, and so that's that. And the kids were asking questions, we went to the library and all that, and then later on that evening, I was just thinking about it, and there was this thing that was just, I, I can't really say what it was, but it was like a cloud, I didn't understand until it occurred to me that, wait a second, I had seen quite a few cyclists on the way, to, as we were cycling in the direction of the woman, I had seen quite a few cyclists and that meant every one of these cyclists had seen the woman and just continued. And it, it felt ugly because how often are we told about how civilized we are, how oh, we're modern, we're up to date, we're open-minded, etc., etc. And yet, you see somebody there, this is not, even if they were a junkie, she wasn't, it was just a very ordinary person, you see somebody there, you just cycle past, just, just nothing happens. And I don't really know how, that what happens in the brain that allows people to do this, but we know it, it, it's, it doesn't mean that anyone is bad. I, I mean, I've lived long enough to realize that we are so complicated that sometimes we do things that surprise us. Sometimes we're surprised in a positive way and sometimes in a negative way. It just happens. But it's just struck me as just a bit sad to realize that whatever the case, the, the instinct to stop and help wasn't there. It was more important to go to wherever you were going to without being bothered. And yeah, that was a bit sad, but yeah, the lady ended up being okay. Um, who knows? Yeah, those things happen.